Hello, YouTube friends. Hello, everyone. Well, family. Instagram, too. Instagram. Anyway, um, today we thought we would talk about, as Andy said, the art of communication. I call it communication. Talking. Not just listening, but actually hearing the other person. Would you, do you have a, you want to talk about anything about that? I'm going to help these people out here. Couples out there. <laughs> Women and men. Very different. Communicate differently. That's true. Let me give you something real basic. See, if I'm not talking, I probably do not feel like communicating. I don't know. But then, but then we get to the point where do you end up communicating and talking about the issue, whatever it is, and being able to work through it. Because I think a lot of the time, since we are different people, and you're a man, and I'm a woman, and you have your own stuff, and I got my own stuff. I identify when, as a man. When we, sometimes, um, when we, <laughs> <laughs> when we um, are talking sometimes, it gets, it can get confusing. As in maybe he's somewhere else, he's in a different thought, and I say something, and he hears it a different way than what I'm trying to say. Therefore, he gets upset, therefore he doesn't want to talk, and therefore um, there's no res re resolve over what, what happened. Even if nothing really happened, it's, it's he didn't hear what I was saying, and, he, and I like to work through those things personally. Can you not do that? I have a little love. Uh, <laughs> he's like this. Yeah. Well, what I have talk this, about being a little. I have a little hernia or something. I don't think it's a hernia. It's a fasciitis. That's what the doctor said. Okay, that sounds about right. Like I said from, last night, like fibers or from some, sort. some fibers or something from the gym and little tears. It's they'll be fine. It's kind of fun to play with. Okay. Anyway, um, that's basically what I'm saying, and and this has taken us a long time, and we're still working through it because I have a different approach, he has a different approach, and I think honestly, what's helped us is going to therapy to understand that we just have different ways of of working through things, right? I've known that we have different ways to, of working no, through but things you since won't, the beginning. No, right? but like what Andy used to do, and uh -huh. and what I think a lot of people do. In relationships is one couple will kind of it's like you you put the dirt under the rug and you're like it's not there it was never there see the dirt's gone but it's not because dirt's still there and at some point it's gonna sweep up and get everywhere again and then you're gonna have this argument and then what happens is you're in um, you go full circle over and over and over again to the point where it's like why are we still fighting about the same thing? We need to resolve it, which means you have to talk about it, which means you both have to listen to each other Look. and you both have to work through it. It's easy. It's really easy. You can't. Did, is this what you said? No, I didn't say that. I said this. Is this what you meant? No, is that how you heard it? I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. I'm so sorry. See, that's where the apology comes in. I'm sorry. What, what is it that you were trying to say? So that we are both okay. The other day we were talking about apologies. Yeah. And perhaps myself and a lot of the ladies in their comments mentioned that their men They're have, pissed at you. At who? You! No one's pissed at me. Yeah, they are. No one's not. They were They're just, like, it's not that hard. Just say I'm sorry. Well, they were in agreement with you saying that it's not that hard. They're not upset with me. They mm -hmm. were just commenting that they also have trouble with their significant others in getting the I'm sorry's out. Men and say, the question is, why is it so hard? Men, because men say, I'm sorry, in different ways. There's different ways to communicate without having to verbalize everything. And I think that women often want to hear things. And men are more show people. Yeah, but going back to... I will, if I can finish. Sure. Since you're saying... You know, that. if I did something wrong, and I kind of feel bad about it, I may not say I'm sorry... But like, I may clean up the kitchen, or I may unload the dishwasher, or I may like clean the room up. I might sweep under the couch but, that she likes. But these are things, these prompted. are habits that you've learned from your parents. Period. Because I just heard a story about something that your dad does that apparently you do. In a in a relationship, I think it's important that you acknowledge the other person's feelings. And and I I always say just say I'm sorry. And, I, and, and, and give me a hug and a kiss, and I know that you love me. I do love you. We'll call but it if I replace your cupcakes, it's an apology. But you never replace my cupcakes. I always replace the cupcake. No, your traits as a person, your, your personalities, your habits actually are your parents. 
Because I know my dad and my mom, when they would fight, they wouldn't do it in front of us. But when I got older and they started fighting in front of us, I realized they're just human and they have their own issues and things. But I always saw them be kind to each other and I always saw them work through it, talk about it, and apologize. I've, and to me, I'm absolutely. like, that sounds so much better than being upset and angry I, and sh I don't want to talk right now. Sweep it under the rug. But sometimes people need a little bit of what, space. What are we mad about? I don't know what we're talking about. If I'm but upset that again. and I excuse myself from the room and say, excuse me, I'm upset. I need to process or whatever but the language keyword is. But that would be nice if is. you said that. Process is That's not my That's what the word. therapy says. The, the therapist, therapist says yeah. to you to say that, but he doesn't do that. Right. Because saying, um, not right now. I'm not in a good mood. Now's not a good time. These apparently are not the key words. These aren't it... crisp enough. Me walking out of the room into another room and shutting the door okay, but I think is I... not clear. It's not clear. She comes it's in and not, knocks. It's not clear when I don't what's understand wrong? why you're upset. But and if you can't express that to me, then you know what's going to happen is I'm going to think it's sometimes, me. Sometimes, here's the thing. I right? can't always, in the moment, verbalize in your language what is upsetting me because I am... But is it me? It doesn't matter Most what the time. It, it what it, it and me? sometimes it, it's you. A lot of times it's probably not. But that oh, would be nice to know. You know, here's the thing: when we we obviously are very close, we work together. How's business, by the way? It's fine. It's fine. She's got a bunch of clients. Can we get back? She, she may or may but not see, be. This is this is this is what he does. He's about to sweep it under the carpet I'm right not. here, people. That's what's gonna happen. I'm not. I'm just simply what saying. What were we talking about? I don't even know. Why were you upset? Oh, who cares? Because the thing is, we don't always. I, and first of all, just because I'm upset, it doesn't mean that I need to express why I'm upset to you. And it doesn't mean that I'm upset necessarily Am with I you. I'm being affected by. But it, you're being then. affected because you're in this space. What I was saying was, we work very closely together. Literally. We, we do. We're always a on top of each other we, all the time. She's. She's my, my, besides. Which I like, but sometimes it's like. Ugh. I'm going to ask you right here. She said something really sweet to me. Whatever it was, I, I don't remember. But I wanted to say something back to her that was more than just like, I love you too. Or, you know, you're this as well. Because those are the things that to me get said all the time. And, and it's not that I don't value what they're, what's being said. It's just that these are things that, you know, sometimes we, we say them so often um, they, they miss, they miss like hitting the, hitting the point. So I looked over at Rebecca and I said to her, I said, you are my friend. No. And then I said, your best friend, eh, my best friend, my best friend, my best, but here's the thing, like whether best friend, closest friend, every friendship has a little different relationship, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm You're sorry. You're my best friend. That's why I invited well, you wedding friend, dress but, shopping with me. But I, I, I'm sure. Remember? I was sitting there. She was just like, he but, was like, I'm not even supposed I'm to sorry. be here. And I was like, well, I said, yes, you are. There are things. You're my best friend. And I appreciate that. And I was there to be supportive. No I almost started what. crying. I don't know if you know, but I almost started crying at that point. Well, Because I'm like, are. come on, who else would I bring with me wedding but, dress shopping? But my my point, and by the way, like when, you, when you're up in Canada and stuff with the girls and your friends... You, I'm sure you girls are talking about things that you wouldn't necessarily talk about with me, your best friend. Yes, I do. No, I think that there's things up there that I'm sure you girls talked about that you probably don't need to have a conversation with, uh, with Andy about. We're kind of a, a going out of what we were. Uh, my about compliment. Rebecca. Yeah, mine too. I was saying that Rebecca's my friend. And he's my best friend. And I needed to be the best friend. And my point was that when I rarely ever say I need to, never, and in. in, in Six years we've been together almost. I've never really said, I need a guy's night out. I've gone out with some buddies, but I've never said, I need a guy's night out. Need I need to hobby. go out. Need I need hobbies. to go out with the guys. I need what to. What does have to do with communication? Because <laughs> she won't let me finish my story. It's so long. <laughs> my point is that I, in my mind, in my heart, I was trying to let her know that when I am out with my friends, if she is not with me, my group of friends is incomplete. I feel that when Rebecca is not with me and I am out having a good yeah. time, one of my closest and dearest and most important people in my life is missing. I feel the same. And that was my compliment. And the thing is, I don't feel, and I know when I said it to her, for me, it was coming from a very deep, 
very sincere uh, I, I, place where I was trying to let her know that, you know, it's not just that I love you like my, you know, my girlfriend or my fiance. Um, it's I love you more than just that. You know, I love you as as somebody that is is part of my my social circle all the time. I appreciate that. And she appreciates that. A lot because because I feel the same way about him. And and my but Period. when when she said I, when, it's so ridiculous. When I, I text him like like I'm done with my client, I'm like done, he's done with his stuff, he's like done, I'm like, you home? Hey, I'm gonna go swim. Like we text each other all day yeah, and that's then we're fine. together but all day. My point is you're my best friend. Who else am I gonna text? I get that, but sometimes you you know sometimes like words you know you, don't, you express you're trying to express yourself in one way and it may not have the impact on me that you well, thought it I would also have physically and vice express, versa i also physically do i things. physically express myself I physically to do as things well to i don't just say things i actually do things who unloaded the dishwasher today oh my god who made freaking dinner that's fine Already, but i'm expressing this is in a crock pot it's gonna be amazing what did you make I made a pot roast. Oh, you you cooked that, that roast we bought yesterday? Bet it's in the crock it, pot cooking. Don't you smell, smell it? It smells fantastic. I know. Fantastic. Um, and, but but what I'm saying, let's get back real quick. I love you. I love you too. I think that it takes a lot it takes a lot of love to be able to communicate to your spouse, especially when you when you're with each other all day and you're constantly learning things. I think we're constantly learning things about ourselves. I learned a lot about myself in this relationship. You've learned a lot about yourself. Absolutely. And I think those things have really helped us as a couple and us as individuals. And I'm, I'm trying to respect the space that he needs. And I, and I think he's, he's doing a great job being able to hear me and not just like, oh, think this is what she said. What did you really say? So that we can work through it and then apologize or hug it out or whatever it is to, to help us move forward. That's the most important thing in any relationship, even if it's a friend or a parent or a sibling. Apologies do go a long way. They do, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying that it's, it's always best to move forward. It is. You can't move forward if you don't talk about it because what That's happens true. is you're gonna go, you're gonna repeat that action or that fight over and over again. And that it's is just true. not worth it. It's not. It's but not worth it when you love somebody and you right, just wanna be with them. Sometimes, sometimes a man or myself, I don't wanna include all men, myself, sometimes I like to sweep under the carpet or sweep under the couch and just keep it there for a little while until I am ready to lift the carpet and finish cleaning well, under maybe the carpet you should talk to the therapist about as opposed that. to being clean underneath clean underneath no, clean no, no, underneath no, no, no. Like, I, I don't feel like cleaning you underneath should wrap at the this up but what I'm but what I'm saying is that anytime you have an opportunity to work through something as a couple just know if you don't work through it it's gonna come back and it's gonna it's gonna be more frustrating and I think that's why so many couples don't make it because it's like they don't want to work through it they don't communicate. So it's important to do that. I do. The more we communicate, I think the more we, we fall in love this with each other. This is us communicating. We're communicating right now. I know. But that's but that's what I love. And that's why I love him more today than I loved him when I first met him. For sure. What? I just love you so I agree much. With you. So, I mean, like, even when I'm upset and we're mad at each other, sometimes I just want to hit him in the face. But then I just want to, like, kiss him and hug him. And it just frustrates the hell out of me because all I want to do is be with him. But you, you don't even look this not cool. All right, we should wrap this. Okay. Um, we, you know what we can do? We can do a part two to this. We can. Apparently, this is one of those subjects that we can talk and talk and talk about. Well, because you weren't even talking about it. So, we're going to talk about this next week, too. Your hair looks great, baby. <laughs> it's, it's all weird. All right. Um, make sure you guys subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing. I have free workouts every Monday. We do our uh, RNA show every wednesday and yeah hit the subscribe button thank you for all the comments if you have any suggestions please just please. write them in the comments here no one's commenting on like what we should be talking about it's very frustrating because then we actually have to talk about things we don't want to talk about no i'm just kidding say goodbye i love you too okay mm -hmm. bye everybody okay you saw me say i love you mm -hmm.